I never asked that that question, but uh, that's great uh, that you're asking though. Look <laughs> yeah, at that. it is. Like, <laughs> the audience has such dun, 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 interesting dun. questions. <laughs> I am genuinely curious if you could show this movie to the president or any former president to get their thoughts on it. What is the aspect of the film that you would love to get their thoughts on? Jacob, seems like you're the guy who should do it <laughs> and interview the president. <laughs> Uh, guys, this movie is an absolute masterpiece. Seriously, it's an honor to talk with you. Thank you for taking the time. Well, thanks Thank for you. saying that, yeah. Jake. I'm going to jump into this. I, I truly think that one of the most fascinating things about this movie is how many questions remain unanswered, like why the war started. Honestly, maybe which side we should be cheering for. And, and obviously, I'd love to keep knowing what happens uh, after the insane final scene. I'm sort of curious as actors if you needed or wanted answers to those questions that, that we never get, because wouldn't your characters know a lot of these things that maybe we don't find out? Yeah, the characters know, but honestly, I didn't, I never felt the need to, to have, a, to be briefed about what, what, what happened before, what led uh, the country to that situation or anything, because I immediately understood that that was not the intention of the film. So I could create my back, my, my back uh, story for my character, but, it was never a conversation with Alex. Yeah, we, we, we know democracy has fallen and we have a fascist president and we have a Western front that is, you know, at war with the president. But all the films, all the, the films that I've seen with American troops in Vietnam, in, in Afghanistan, in, 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 in Iraq, none of them explain the background of anything, right? Like, so I get it, this, this, this being, a, this film, creates a, a cognitive dissonance because the images that you see, that you used to see in other places are you were seeing here in the US. But I don't think that dramatically you would need an explanation for anything. Fair it's enough. It's just the aftermath of a polarized moment that we all know what it is. Hmm. Kaylee, I'm curious, at any point, do you have any idea or have you asked what happens after the movie cuts to black or cuts to white, I guess? I never asked that that question, but uh, that's great uh, that you're asking, though. Look <laughs> yeah, at that. it it's is. Like, <laughs> the audience has such dun, dun, interesting dun. questions. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I'm glad that um, you were sort of hooked in in a way that you wanted to know the rest of her her journey. I mean, there's a real baton pass between these two, and there's a real mm -hmm. unspoken connection, understanding between them. So I really that that was. That really, I feel like grounds, that relationship really grounds the, the film and mm -hmm. it, it was really special exploring that with Kirsten. Honestly, I've seen the film twice. Uh, the studio was cool oh. enough to set up a screening for me and then I said, can I please watch it one more time so they let me see it a second because I, I just seriously, I love that. Uh, this is a big question and, and, and I, I hope that it yields a good conversation, but the movie is among many things. It's a road trip about journalists who are trying to land an interview with the president of the United States. I am genuinely curious if you could show this movie to the president or any former president to get their thoughts on it. What is the aspect of the film that you would love to get their thoughts on? Jacob, seems like you're the guy who should do it <laughs> and interview the president. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly happy doing this. This is very much this is very much my thing. But is there is there anything though that you guys would be curious just to sort of look at and go like thoughts on that? Hmm. It's a good experiment. I know. I mean, it's a it's a really powerful piece of art that Alex Garland made. So I would think that like you know I I, I don't need their reviews, but I'm sure that you know I hope hopefully you know people will see this film. You know everybody. It's the most That's I've had people ask me about a movie uh, that I see after oh. a screening, the most text messages I've got from people in a long time. Wow. Um, I, really it, I have to tell you, I, I truly believe that the scene, um, there's an actor in the film I really love named Jesse Plemons. Oh, you, you, mean guys, my you guys, that guy. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Right. Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> but I, I would love to talk about that, that sequence because that is truly one of the most incredible, just like 
I seriously, I still have like the, the fingernails in my palms uh, watching that scene. Since you're all in that scene, I'd love to know what you remember about shooting that sequence, the, the emotional places you guys had to go to, uh, how you walk away from a scene like that, because honestly, it's unlike anything that I've seen in a very long time. Yeah, that was a very scary scene to shoot. For me personally, it was the most difficult uh, scene because it affects me in a very personal level. Like when he goes like, and he says, what kind of American are you? It really, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, you know, I'm an American citizen. I've been living here in this country, but I'm not from here. I speak with an accent. And, uh, and that was a scary thing to, to, to to, I didn't. I, I didn't know what to respond. I, uh, we talked to a journalist like before, and he said, "I think you lied when you said Florida," <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, that's a that's an interesting thought." But it's uh, yeah, because it's in in a very subtle way, like everything else in this film. That is also a film, of, a scene about racism, right? And um, and that's a very another very strong. And For sure, Kirsten, I would love to know what sort of relationships or what sort of conversations you and Jesse had about that scene in advance. Like, do, do you guys go over a scene like that since your characters would have never met or do you have to keep it separate or do you have conversations? I didn't, I didn't talk to him about that scene. I let him do his thing, but also he did it as a favor to me, to be honest. Nobody wants to play that role. You know, it's a very difficult uh, position to put yourself in and headspace. And um, so I feel very lucky that we had such a great actor, brilliant actor in that, in that role because it made it what it needed to be. Yeah. I have to tell you, whenever I talk with people about this movie, they always go, oh, that's the, like, what kind of American are you movie? And I was like, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's, so that's the line, to your point, that's the line I think that's sticking with people who haven't had the chance to see it yet. Um, I, got a t I got a thousand more questions I wish I could ask you, but seriously, the film is an absolute masterpiece. The studio is so kind to let me see it twice. Um, but seriously, thank you for taking the time. I really do appreciate you guys. Thanks, Thanks man. Thank you Thanks, so guys. Much. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads.